Hey everybody! I know that even those of us who love to dress up super fancy as often as possible still have days where we like to wear t-shirts and jeans or leggings or whatever. And then of course there are those of us who prefer to wear t-shirts and jeans all the time. And I figure if that's what you're going to wear you might as well make it cool. Or a bit creepy. I don't know if you're familiar with Akumu ink, but I'm here to make you familiar with it. Akumu ink! Wear it to death! They're a small company that has grown to be huge and international, based in the USA. They have this huge collection of cute and creepy t-shirts and other accessories and stuff. I'll link their website down below, of course. Go have a wee look for yourself. I really thought that shirts like this would be the kind of thing that a lot of you guys would be really into. So I'm going to showcase some of these designs to you today, and if you visit the website you'll see that they have loads more. And it seems like they're always coming out with new designs as well. First of all I'll show you a few of the designs that I thought were particularly cool that I have, well both on and in this bag. This is the parcel it came in, obviously I've already opened it. Even the parcel is kind of creepy. Your nightmare awaits you. Before we tuck into this parcel first of all I'll show you the t-shirt that I have on right now. I guess you can't really see it probably while I'm sitting here so Let's have a look. This is my personal favourite design of theirs, it's called Tone Death. And it perfectly describes one of my hobbies, which is listening to music so loud that my ears bleed. I don't really have that many t-shirts, so I'm feeling pretty pleased right now. I'm certain that I'll get a lot of use out of these, especially this one, as it is my favourite. Got a lot of bloody skeletons. The nightmare awaits you, let's have a look inside. I also chucked a few little extras in here as a surprise, which is awesome. So I'll show you those last. This one here is super cute. I love it, look. Bloody Mary with a nice like half skeleton queen holding a bloody heart. Wonderful spooky imagery. Ever since I was a child, my favorite color combo is black with white and red. A lot of their designs really appeal to my sense of aesthetic. Including this one, let's have a look what's on here. Ah, sickness. I think this is one that a lot of you guys in particular will really like. This nice evil looking sort of sexy blood covered nurse holding a bloody bone saw and a heart. I should also mention that these are really good quality, like they're really nice. I feel like they're gonna last a long, long time. I can tell you that these tees are made with love. They're 100% cotton, they're really good quality, they're soft and comfortable and you know I would never recommend anything to you that I didn't like. So. Oh, this one's really cool too. This is Dead Riding Hood. Little Dead Riding Hood with her bloody axe and a wolf's head with an inverted cross on it. It looks like she's wearing a hockey mask or something. It's quite scary. I think things like this are cute for both teenagers and adults alike. Another one they sent me like as a surprise <laughs> was this one here. I think this one's called The Culprit. Guilty looking teddy bear skeleton holding a toy with a bloody knife in it. Rather grisly. So there are a few little extras in here and let's have a look and see what they are. Eee! Awesome! Ugh. I'm having trouble getting comfortable sitting anywhere or standing or indeed moving because if you watch my videos regularly you'll know that like two weeks ago I rolled my ankle in six and a quarter inch heels. No my ankle has not recovered. It, in fact it hurts more than ever. No, I haven't been to the doctor. No, I'm probably not going to. If it gets a lot worse, <laughs> maybe I will. But in the meantime, I'll just suffer. Because pain and suffering is really goth. That's not why. But anyway. So, here I have a little sticker pack. That looks awesome. Shall we open it up? I think we should. Hashtag Kumu Ink. This creepy character again, made into like a death tarot card. A toad death sticker, the same as the t-shirt I'm wearing right now. That's really cool. I might stick that on my bedside table. That's where I put most of my stickers. And maybe this one as well, it's just an Akumu ink coffin shaped sticker. They have so many little designs, really go have a look at their website. A little skeleton couple, oh it's a skull ice cream with a cherry eye. This design also comes on a t-shirt I've seen which is really cool, it's like a little sad poet that looks a lot like Edgar Allan Poe. We're all mad here. True story. Is that like the man in the moon? Oh such gore, such splatter. And lastly off with your head. They also tracked in a couple of these stickers for me. I like stickers, they make me feel so childlike. Thank you. Not that I was ever a child. And a couple of little key rings. Look, it's the Dead Riding Hood. I'm like, the key ring. That's really cool. So it'll exactly match the shirt. Isn't this great? It's so cool. There's also a key ring to match this top. I thought that Akumu Ink stuff would be things that a lot of you would be really keen on. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you want to go have a look for yourself, below this video is a link to each of the shirts that I've shown you. Did you have a favorite? out of these because honestly this one is well obviously this one is my favorite i think it's really really cool i also like the sickness and little dead riding hood 
Aww. They're so cute and yet so disturbing. If you have yet to do so, please subscribe to my channel. I make at least two videos every week. As always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I will see you next time. Bye! The rain all over me The masquerade of fear and pain